Well, what's up, everybody? We're back in Georgia. This is the first time we've ever stayed in the same place twice, which is interesting because we don't normally do that, but we like this place, and this is kind of our home base. What I thought I would start us off with today, doing some unboxing. There's some very interesting things in here that I'm excited about, and uh, you're gonna see more of, but here's a little sneak peek of it, and especially what's in this bottom one. Let's. Let's get into it and talk about some of the videos that are going to come out of some of this stuff. I'm pretty excited about this, but this is a Tesla meter to be able to measure magnetic fields and how strong magnets are. My system for what I do for my pickups is awesome, but um, I've got a couple of people that I'm talking to about maybe doing some testing and some other stuff for some other people. And I was like, well, maybe it would be better to be able to quantify it and for videos to be able to kind of sh we're going to do some videos that is going to use this to talk about how strong magnets are different between El Nico 5 and El Nico 3 and ceramic and that sort of thing so this will be helpful for that to be able to put a visual on it because obviously through YouTube I can't show you you know how strong a magnet is so we'll put a number on it it's pretty cool I'll leave a link to it in the description it's not a cheap piece of equipment but it is, this is not as expensive. I've been looking for one for a while, let me just say that. And then this, I think, is a must for anybody who experiments with guitar pickups. This is an LCR meter. On this side of the dial, we have capacitance. So most basic meters these days will have capacitance, but this has capacitance on this side. And then on this side though, it's got, uh, let's see, capacitance, resistance down here, inductance over here the number one measurement in a pickup everybody wants to measure resistance measurement in a pickup that we really want to be concerned with is inductance and in my opinion not enough people pay attention to the capacitance of a pickup too so we'll be talking about that and be kind of dive into that into some content i think everybody should have one of these now this is an affordable piece of equipment I'll leave a link to it in the description. I just got it on Amazon. I had one like this before. I don't know what happened to it. I lend it to somebody or I don't know what. Anyway, it's gone. These are not expensive. And I think everybody that experiments with guitar stuff needs to have one. Now, as you are aware, um, I have said it many times on the channel. We don't get a lot of sponsorships and we don't get a lot of free stuff sent to us. And when we get offers for stuff, a lot of times I say no because it's just junk it's honestly it's just junk like stuff from amazon or whatever but this company reached out to me about a month ago tz audio products i'll leave a link to this in the description this is not a cheap microphone but you can get it on amazon but check this thing out but this is an actual diaphragm condenser microphone now you can't see it on the video but it, it you look in there and it actually has a diaphragm in there like a a normal circular diaphragm. I'll leave a link to this too um, on Amazon. TZ Audio Products, the Stellar X2 Vintage. So it came with one of these dudes, like so. And it came with one of these. Got the whole deal, man. And apparently this is supposed to be pretty nice. I don't know. We'll play the acoustic through it. Maybe we'll test some audio through it. You know, obviously speaking, maybe I'll do a live stream, one of my Thursday live streams with it. We'll see what it sounds like. Uh, and then we'll probably throw it in probably one of these vlogs as kind of a review slash vloggy thing. I don't normally do this stuff, but I, I just thought it was really cool. And plus I'm interested because for recording acoustic guitar, it's nice to have a good condenser around and I don't have one. So maybe this Amazon one will be good enough. Now this bottom thing, I'm just going to show you what it is. And I'm just gonna say one thing. Anyway, it's official. I've gotten emails about it. And I'm just gonna show you what this is. And basically, they told me not to say anything before March 15th, but this is a piece of carbon fiber. It's interesting, it's like the shape of a body. Measurements of a body of a guitar. So I'm gonna say one thing, and that's all the T's you get. Great guitar build off 2021. 
Okay, so before I let you go from this vlog, we're gonna talk a little bit about inductance. So the main measurement that we use in pickup building, um, obviously you're familiar with resistance. All resistance really is, is a, it, it's the size of the coil. So it's representative of how long the coil is. Um, and that has some bearing on how much voltage the coil can make, but not really. Honestly, the resistance is how long the coil is. How it affects the tone is the longer the coil is and the higher the resistance is, has a lot of influence on the high end of the pickup, how, how much high end the pickup will make. The more resistance, the less high end there is. Uh, problem is is that you want that thing to be able to create a lot of inductance which we'll get into in a minute so there's a little give and take there of course the other thing is going to be strength of the magnetic field and that's measured in tesla or gauss which tesla is just a multiplication of gauss so there there's that which we'll get into that in a whole nother video but i want to just talk about inductance and then the other two measurements that people don't hear about a whole lot but to me they're the most important inductance and capacitance so capacitance is um, when you have two wires in, in this situation how it applies to this situation how it affects the tone of the pickup is when you have two wires that sit next to each other i don't know off gassing is the easiest way i can say it it's not that's not exactly what it is but basically it's like two these two wires are constantly losing a little bit of energy and when they're sitting right next to each other they're losing energy to each other which means that you lose efficiency and the first thing you always lose is high end it's just kind of a thing so the low just like in a guitar cable the lower the capacitance the more clarity and high end you're going to have the higher capacitance the less you're going to have and then the last but probably the most important is the overall ability for the pickup to work the overall efficiency of the work of the pickup and that is inductance so you need to take all of those things and you put them all together and you give the coil and the magnets together this the whole pickup as it stands here we go the whole construct a number that's inductance how much ability does this thing have how much horsepower does this thing have to work that's inductance it's a combination of everything if you don't have magnetism you can't measure inductance you can only measure a resistance if you don't have resistance you can only measure magnetism see what i'm saying so once it's all put together then you can measure inductance so we're going to measure a few pickups here and i'm going to show you exactly what i mean uh, by that and well i'll just show you okay so we've got an inductance meter here we've got it set at 20 henry's and let's just take this strat pickup now all of the pickups have been magnetized okay we're gonna take the strap pickup that I've made and I don't know what the resistance of it is. Let's just check that first. 5.99. Okay, so this is basically a neck strap. This is your normal, whoops, this is your normal neck strap pickup. I don't remember how many wines are on it. It's been a while since I made it, but okay. So it's a basic normal neck strap pickup. And that's the number you typically see when you buy a pickup, right? That's 5.9K. It makes total sense. It's 42 gauge wire, El Nico 5 pickups. It's a good neck strap pickup, okay? However, let's go over here. 2.53. Now you're going to say, wait a minute. If I read on the internet that a Stratocaster pickup goes from 1.8 Henry's to 2.5 to 2.8 Henry's. How are you getting 2.5 Henry's out of such a low resistance? See, because when it's a culmination of the strength of the magnets and the size of the coil, you would think the more coil I put on here, the more inductance I would have, or the more magnetism I would have, the more inductance I would have. But for such a low output pickup, you shouldn't have 2.5 Henry's. It should be around 1.9. That's the magic, y'all. That's the magic. That is what the difference is. I'm telling you right now, this pickup, even though it is a low output pickup, will be louder in your guitar and will do more than something with less. This is a really, really, really good neck pickup. Anyway, this is my classic five. It's just a normal pickup we make every day. Let's look at capacitance. 2.9 picofarads. 
that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Let's check this other one. 2.9 picofarads. So what I'm telling you, what I'm showing you here is consistency across pickups. So we can make a pickup that is exactly the same spec. So let's look at the Henry's on that one. 2.48. So a little lower, but right in there. I'm happy with that. Now here's what I'm going to tell you. This is a mag this is a pickup that I wound. This is Leslie's very first pickup. Her very first pickup is right in spec with the pickups that I make every day. How cool is that crap? Isn't that awesome? All right, so let's check one more. This is just gonna completely throw everything off. This is that coil tap pickup we made the other day. Let's look at how many Henry's this baby is. 3.6 Henry's, holy smokes. Here, I think something's touching the table and this table's metal. That's what it is. Yeah, 3.6 Henry's. Why is that coil, which is basically the same as the Strat coil as far as winds and wire and all that kind of stuff, why is the inductance of this pickup so much higher? Because we've changed the shape of the magnetic field with using the plate on the bottom. And we've now made this coil, we've basically gave it more horsepower by changing the shape of the magnetic field. Very, very interesting stuff. Now let's look at capacitance. 2.4 picofarads. I'm, I'm multiplying in my head. 2.4 picofarads. That is what I want to see. All right, what does that mean? So basically what we're learning here is um, what you want, in, in my opinion, what I think makes a good sounding pickup, because I like clarity, I don't like it to be muddy, is I want the most amount of inductance for the least amount of resistance and the least amount of capacitance. How do you do that? It's all in how you put the wire on the bobbin. The nicer and neater and straighter and tighter like a machine that you are, the higher the capacitance is gonna be, which I don't want, but the higher the inductance which I do want. So what I want is a low resistance pickup with high inductance and low capacitance. It's all a trade-off in how you make the stuff. So it's also a trade-off in how tall the bobbin is, um, the measurements of the bobbin, and also the strength of the magnet, which we'll get into strength of magnet and maybe in the, at the end of next week's vlog. But it's very, very interesting. And I'm also very encouraged to see that Leslie's first pickup that she ever made as part of this week's video um, is right in spec to what I always make. That is very encouraging. So it's not going to be long before you're going to be playing her pickups, I don't think. Um, that is very, very encouraging. And also, it's very interesting to see on a tele pickup how much more horsepower there is when you put that base plate on the bottom. What do you think if we made strap pickups with base plates? Would you buy them? That'd be fun. Maybe we should do something like that. We'll put them in the white strat and we'll test them. I think it'd be kind of neat. I'll get the stuff coming and we'll try it because I think it's kind of cool. Uh, make sure you hit the little join button down there if you want to see videos early and we did a members only live stream this week. That was really fun. Um, Patreon does the same thing so you can go to Patreon if you're a Patreon person or you can just stick here on YouTube with the join button down there either way um, and then um, yeah make sure you subscribe and uh, follow us on Instagram too please that would be great otherwise uh, I'll see you Tuesday I think we're talking about coil tap versus coil split on Tuesday see you soon